Has it hit you yet? Like you're at the national championship yet? Uh, a little bit, not not too much. Uh, I, feel, I feel like trying not to get too high on the on the situation, but uh, definitely definitely excited to be here. You can definitely tell we're we're, we're out here. Uh, yeah. You definitely dress for the uh, for the occasion. Yeah. Look at that, man. I, I saw the building from outside. I had to come with a little flash. <laughs> <laughs> this defense has flashed all season long, but how much confidence did that win against Alabama on that last play give you guys coming to this? Uh, definitely a lot of confidence, you know, with all the doubt that we've been given over the past couple weeks. You know, just to, to go out there and just perform like on that level in front of uh, in front of everybody in the world, honestly. Uh, it, it definitely gave us a lot of confidence going into the game. You guys have been the number one defense all season long, though. How would you describe the way you guys play the game together? Um, how do we play together? I mean, it's hard, confident. I feel like whenever we're playing together, whenever we're jail, jail together, we play more confident, more freely, uh, just more loose. And I feel like that's kind of when we play our best ball, whenever we're kind of just all out there together as one, and we're all on the same page. Uh, we're playing like confident, free, and that's very dangerous when we're in that moment. You are one of the very few guys on this team who has faced Michael Penix Jr. too. What do you remember about that meeting with Indiana in 2020? I remember that arm he had, man. He kind of tossed up a couple touchdown passes on us, man. Um, I, I remember him, the lefty. It's kind of hard to forget a left, left-handed quarterback, man, who can, who can do things like that. Um, but, yeah, just a good athlete, you know, great arm, great arm talent, stuff like that. And now you face him in the national championship game. Can you use that experience going into this one? Or is he kind of an even better quarterback than he was in that game? Um, I feel like he, he's grown, you know, uh, and the, the kind of offense that he has now, it makes him more versatile. Uh, he has more, more targets to go to, uh, more um, explosive athletes. And I feel like, you know, it's just more dangerous when you have like a quarterback like that. We get, give him that many weapons, it definitely makes him more uh, dangerous. The blueprint to beating Alabama was kind of stopping the run for you guys in that game. Seems like the page is turning now, though, that it's all going to be about the pass. How do you switch that page? Um, you know, it's, like I said, like we kind of all work together on all three levels. So regardless of kind of if we're facing the run, we're facing the pass, um, we all have to do our jobs, whether it's in the front end, the back end. On the front end, we have to get pressure on the queue. Back end, have to cover long enough so we can get pressure. Um, but, yeah, like we all just have to work together. We have to continue to just do what we've been doing, uh, preparing the way we've been preparing, preparing, and, you know, just kind of taking it like no other game, trying not to make it no bigger than what it is. It was a big win in the Rose Bowl. How quickly do you have to go from that one to this one less than a week later? I was just about to say, man, it's less than a week, man. As soon as we got... As soon as we got back to the hotel, we got on a flight back to Ann Arbor, and we've been uh, cooking up ever since, man, getting ready for this game. Um, it's it's kind of like, you know, had kind of like a quick dream happen, you know, uh, to where it's like, uh, did it actually really happen? Didn't really have too much time to enjoy it to the point to where now we're here back in Houston, man, and we're ready to go get an attic. Now you're chasing another dream, going for a national championship. What would it mean as a guy who stuck around this program at some low points a few years ago to now at the top of the college football mountain? What would it mean as a Michigan man to bring a national championship? Man, it would, feel, it would, it would mean the world, man. You know, just growing up, watching all the national championships uh, as I was growing up, and just being here and learning about all the history of the wins from Michigan and being here during those low points. And to finally be here to the point where we're back here at the national championship, man, it would, it would mean so much to bring that back in our As a veteran player, do you feel like you've kind of laid the groundwork for the future? I definitely help. You know, I can't I can't give all my give it my, myself the credit, man. We got great coaches, great uh great staff here, great players. And I feel like, you know, just it kind of starts at the top with Coach Harbaugh, man. He, he's created such a great culture here. He's just tripled down throughout the whole system. You guys have a lot of tough players on this team, but I have to ask you about your fellow linebacker, Jim Colson. How tough is he, and how would you describe the way he's playing the game this season? Man, tough as, tough as nails, man. You, you run around no hands right now. Just run around hitting people, man. But, uh, yeah, man, he, he's always my guy. I can count on beside me. Um, he's, he's never going to have to drag him off the field, man. You know, you always count on him. He's a heck of, heck of an athlete, man. Great guy. My man. Appreciate you. Thank Appreciate you. you. Good luck. Appreciate it.